They say a man can have sex with a hundred women and he's a legend. Now a woman has sex with a hundred yes. men and she's yes. shy. It may not be news that women who openly express their sexuality are often scorned, while men who do the same are cheered. I can't go anywhere without being judged by someone. But now this phenomenon has a name, slut shaming, and its consequences can be emotionally devastating. I feel like such a dumbass for letting somebody treat me like that. Della's best male friends think it's fine to humiliate her publicly because she once had one night stands with each guy. Our rule is that you f everything at once. Will Della save their friendship or be forced to cut them out of her life for good? Every single thing I do, it all has to be about sex. Slut, 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 slut. Rosa is sick of being called names by her own sisters every time she bears a little skin. I don't want to show up to a party with you looking like a hoe. Can she persuade them to treat her with more respect before their relationship suffers further damage? No more using the word hoe at all. If I gotta think about what I'm saying, then you gotta think about what you're wearing. Can you do that? Shakira's brother is so upset that she dates multiple men at once that he won't let her be around his children. If you don't care how I feel, at least think about them. They don't see what I do. They don't know what I do. They're That's lying. That's because I keep them away. Will Shakira be forced to change her lifestyle in order to see her beloved nephews? Now, what I choose to do is what I choose to do, period. And if people can accept it, they can accept it. And if they don't, well, oh well. They're sick of being scorned for openly expressing their sexuality. You look 110% slutty. Will they find a way to stop the insults? Find out on True Life, I'm Being Slut Chained. We got a slut 12 o'clock. It's such a double standard. This is where I begin my connection. There's a double standard on what women can and can't do. We have read all different articles throughout the semester that sexual freedom is blooming more than ever in our generation. But in reality, some older customs have not changed or evolved. But let's hope they do. The media is everywhere and tells individuals what is right and what is something that can rightfully deem a woman a slut. So number one, we have sexual roles. For our society, we see in movies and TV shows, it is okay to have regular sex, a friends with benefits kind of thing. When it comes to sexual pleasure, it is more common men are more outspoken on what they do between the sheets and what they want to do. Traditionally, women were seen as objects for fertility, and even in the older times, women who could not produce a baby were divorced due to this reason. This idea can be seen in Kelly James' article, Sexual Pleasure. It states, upon the sexual pleasure-seeking process relates to gender identity. Sex roles and rules vary according to gender norms and sexual social process. Lessons we learn about who should do what to whom affect our interpretation of sex acts and ultimately pleasure. Our second main topics are going to be social and sexual norms. For social and sexual norms, there is always an assumption girls want the happily ever after with every guy they encounter, meaning the social norm is women only want relationships, not just sex. In Deborah Tolman's article, Adolescent Girls' Sexuality, we read, Adolescent girls' sexuality is a fulcrum of contradictions. Girls want relationships, boys want sex, but everyone is just hooking up, no strings attached. Virgins can be reborn, but sluts can never shake the molecular they still get. To be popular with girls and with boys, girls are told to wear less and less to be more and more sexy, but girls who dress in skimpy clothes look like prostitutes. Page 153. The media even very much so labels women as the hopeless romantics who want to have a long-term relationship with Mr. Right. This is not necessarily true. To find Mr. Right, you have to kiss a couple frogs to know what you like and don't like when it comes to not only dating, but when it comes to sex as well. Sex is not always a topic people are open to discuss, but in reality, sex is definitely a chunk of a relationship. Having sex is the most intimate and closest, physically speaking, you can get to someone. While watching this episode of True Life, we see Shakira decide what she likes and doesn't like when it comes to candidates up for sexual actions. It is not like it used to be. Arranged marriages don't happen nowadays. Nowadays, we get to learn and experience what and who we like and who we love emotionally and sexually. 
Our third topic to be discussed is sexual socialization. This topic comes in media very much so today and especially in this episode of True Life. Again, we can find another quote from Tolman's article. It states, this process called sexual socialization includes learning to find the right people desirable, the context in which appropriate or not to have or express sexual feelings, and what are acceptable sexual strips. These norms are conveyed by family, peers, and by the media. Girls continue to be sexually socialized into being sexy rather than being sexual. Lots of girls and women learning not only that they are the object of another's desire, that they are to be looked at, but that they come to experience their own bodies in this fashion. An object has no feelings of her own. This message stands in stark contrast to another domains of women's lives, where they learn that they can be and do anything, producing yet another confusing contradiction anchoring female adolescents. Page 154. Girls have and sadly may always be seen as the good or the bad girl, meaning if you look and act a certain way, you'll be labeled good or bad. We're always told what is wrong and what is right. That even occurs when it comes to our sexuality. They say as young as age four is when children learn the ugly and beautiful is. If one doesn't fit the standards, they are not desirable. To be desirable, women need to show their assets in order to grab attention of whom they are seeking. But then, if too much is showing, they are deemed a hoe like Rosa was by her own family. For younger girls, this message can damage his self-esteem and the sense of sexuality. It is one of those damned them if they do and damned them if they don't ideas. Once again, labeling women as objects for others' pleasure. Especially when it comes to media, nowadays we have dating apps such as Tinder. The layout is literally hot or not, meaning you see the individual's picture, hit the X for not interested, and then the heart symbol for yes interested. Teaching looks and how one presents himself is the key essential to attention. And finally, our fourth and final um, topic today is sexual subjectivity. Thankfully, we do have media to show the positive side of sexuality as well, the side that tells girls being confident in their sexual life is okay, you're not a slut. The quote I took um, to heart for this topic was, Sexual subjectivity means that having a sense of oneself as a sexual person who is entitled to have sexual feelings and to make active decisions about sexual behaviors. That's also from Tolman 155. A person decides who is in or not involved in their personal sexual life. Della, at the end of this episode, finally makes an amazing decision for herself and also for the sake of her sexuality to leave, to let her not-so-best friends Clint and James go because she felt a constant struggle with herself not being able to express her sexuality freely. Rosa expresses to her family she dresses the way she does because this this is who she is and makes her feel comfortable with her body, not just because it's sexy, which erases that objectivity on her. Um, Then Shakira tells her brother she dates to ultimately find the one. Not to have notches in her belt, but even if she wanted those notches, it is none of his business because it is her sex life, not his, which is how it should be. Your sexuality is your own business. If one wants it out in the open, that's on them. But being slut-shamed for being a woman who is expressing her sexual self proves that we as a society, especially the media aspects, need to evolve more in order to have that um, sexual freedom occur. And then finally, I have one more quote for you guys that's also from Tolman's article. These girls may have a hard road to plow socially, but the ending factor that comes with this is the choice that can also enable these young women to lead the charge to resist dividing girls into good and bad, the very heart of what keeps desire so dangerous. And this is on page 156. And that's it for me, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed and that you learned a little bit about um, sexuality in today's society.